Hey, what is going on guys? I'm Tiger with Tiger Upcoming Media back with another Dokkan Battle video. And today, I just wanted to quickly talk about this new daily capsule feature that just dropped on Global, give you guys my opinions on it, and basically let you know whether or not I feel like it's a good deal and whether or not you should spend your money on it, all right? So let's pop into the Pilaf's Trove here and see what's going on. And if you just scroll one to the right here, we have the daily capsule. So there are two different packs here. There is a 15 day pack and a 30 day pack. And if you guys have played other gotcha games with subscription features, then it works very similar to those where you're basically paying a price and uh, getting a currency or whatever item in the game over the course of a certain amount of time. So for this one is 15 days, the other one is 30 days. And for the 15 day pack, oh, real quick, we're working with Canadian prices here because obviously I live in Canada and the exchange rate kind of sucks right now. If you guys live in the States, um, then obviously the prices will be even lower since you're working with US dollars. But for us, it's $7 for the 15 day pack for a total of uh, 31 stones. It's one stone right off the bat and then two stones per day for 15 days for 31 total stones. And for the 30 day pack, it's $14 for five stones off the bat and then three stones per day for 30 days for a grand total of 95 stones. So if you do the math here, guys, for the 15 day pack, for $7, you're getting 31 stones. You divide seven by 31, that comes out to about, I believe 13, no, um, that's the other pack. Comes out to about 23 cents per stone, right? So each dragon stone is about 23 cents for this pack. Whereas for this one, the deal is even better. It works out to, like I said, about 13 to 14 cents, I believe. Let me check real quick, actually. So seven divided by 31 is yeah about 23 cents per stone. And uh, 14 divided by 95 is about 15 cents per stone. So I was slightly off there. But essentially the 30 day daily capsule pack is definitely the better deal between the two. And now if we compare it to the in-game store prices for these stone packs, as you can see in Canada, a 91 stone pack at full price is $63, right? If you do the math here, and I remember this number for sure because it comes out to approximately 69 cents per stone. So basically, the cost per stone for the 91 stone pack is almost five times the cost per stone for the daily capsule pack when you buy the 30 day pack. And I mean, I think at this point, I don't really need to give a recommendation, but I'll just say it, I think these packs are both very good value, but the 30 day pack is definitely the much better value. And if you guys are, you know, pay to play players, you're willing to spend a little bit of money for your stones. Uh, even if you're one of those people that only spends very little on the game, I think instead of buying like the, you know, 77 stone pack or the 32 stone pack or something like that, you should definitely go for the 30 day daily capsule because it's just much more value for your money. And this actually turned out to be much better than I expected. I expected the 90-ish stone pack to be like 20 to $25. And I honestly expected something like this to be at least like $10. So the prices are a lot cheaper than I expected. Oh, by the way, if you guys were wondering whether or not you can buy both at the same time, uh, apparently you can't. So you can only choose one. And I would definitely say choose this one, even though it's double the price. You're getting like three times plus the stones, right? So definitely worth it in my eyes and uh, that's pretty much all I want to say. I do feel like this daily capsule thing has a lot of potential for like even bigger packs in the future for Dragonstones but also for other items in the game like hidden potential orbs or even Kai's and um, I don't know awakening medals and stuff like that. I mean I don't know if anybody would buy an awakening medal pack but definitely for Kai's. I would definitely buy a Kai pack. I would definitely buy a hidden potential orb pack that gives you like a set amount of orbs every day and uh, yeah there's just a lot of potential here I'm glad that it's off to a good start and it's definitely one of the only things in the Pilaf's Trove that I would recommend people to buy if you are a pay to play player so that's gonna do it for today's video guys let me know in the comments down below what you think about this new daily capsule feature whether or not you agree with me because like I said if you just do the math it just it just makes sense to buy this pack if you're gonna buy stones anyways right and uh, yeah, that's going to do it for today's video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Hopefully you learned something from it. And as always, if you guys like the video, then make sure to like the damn video. And if it's your first time watching me, first time to the channel and you like what you see, then definitely 
hit that big red subscribe button to join the Tiger Squad now. And while you're at it, hit that notification bell too, so that YouTube knows you want to stay up to date with all my latest content. And that's it. I'm out of here. Until next time, I hope you guys have a fantastic, fantastic day. I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media, signing out.